Welcome to the most disliked show on YouTube. Broncos quarterback Paxton Lynch is going to miss a few weeks due to a shoulder injury. There's one thing that I always say about shoulder injuries. Sometimes they're good. I'm here with my neighbor today and I'm thinking he might have a gambling problem. Sir, do you have a gambling problem? Do I have a gambling problem? I wouldn't say that. Um, you know, they say addiction is based on when, when it causes consequences in your life, right? So maybe it's caused minor consequences, you lose money. Um, but I don't, I don't bet large sums of money. Uh, you know, just a little bit to keep the games interesting. And, um, you know, if I have to cut off a couple guys' fingers, or a couple fingers from one guy, that's part of the game. What's the most you've ever won? I won a parlay about 400 bucks, I think. Five game, four or five games, college football games last year, and I was able to build it up to 800. And then I started losing. How much did you lose plus the 800? I, I just lost 800. I got up to 800 and then lost it all. Are you? Because I bet. Here's what happened. I, I lost the game and I bet. I decided to bet to, to catch up to uh, chase that loss. I decided to bet on the Vikings versus the Bears. And Jay Cutler. The, I, I went to ESPN and said Jay Cutler was not going to be playing. It, was, it said Jay Cutler was going to be out. Right. But then he started the game. So ESPN cheated me, these idiots. The so, world leader in sports, they, they can't even get their information right. So that kind of, I would never bet that game if it was if, if I knew Jay Cutler was gonna play. So you go read the paper ahead of time and get the over and under of the score, the spread? I try to get as much information as I possibly can. Um, you, you obviously you're, you're going to look at the point spread. I generally bet against the point spread. Um, sometimes money line, although the payout's not very high. But I try to get a home team. I try to bet on a home team that's where maybe they're favored by under a touchdown, something like that. And if you feel I, I like home teams. That's that. I, I, that's what I look at. Can a home? Is it is it a home team and is the so less than a touchdown? Are you going to go to Vegas or anything? Get bigger than, or just going to do this off the uh, internet? I, I'm going to Las Vegas here in uh, a week and a half, something like that. I'm going to Las Vegas. Going to be staying at the Hard Rock. There's a deal. The kids going are going back to school. That you know that tends to be a hotel that gears toward younger people. So you know, being right after Labor Day, um, they, they ran a special, and I was able to get in there. How much does it cost there. to go? How much is okay, your so flight and room? It was 112 per person for three people. I'm paying for three people for two nights. That's Actually, cheap. Actually, it dropped down to $80. It dropped down to $80. For three people in one room? That's cheap. It dropped down to eight, but I had already bought my tickets off of Expedia. You can get some great deals on Expedia. So you get a room for 112 and a night? How much is the air flight? That includes the air flight? Actually, it's 112 per person. So oh, per nights. person. That's with the airfare. That's still cheap. Three hundred and sixty yeah, bucks, basically. If you want a good deal, go to Priceline or Expedia. One of those, you know, one of those third parties because they do, what they do is a bundle deal. Oh, the and trains you, here. You can usually bundle flight and hotel together and get a good deal. Okay. Is that your train? That was going the other way. What did you call her, Mademoiselle? Is that a brothel we just came out of? <laughs> I got a drink at Thai Asian Grill, okay? Spicy Thai Asian Grill. Whoa. I got a drink at Spicy, and I called the lady Mademoiselle. I, I just, honey, I just got a Coke. I got a Dr. Pepper, it's right there. So that's a brothel in the back? Mademoiselle, I think in French, oh, she's a in French it's like calling you ma'am. Oh, Mademoiselle, oh. like, and, and you know, oh, if it's a male, you call him Monsieur. Here, we call that a brothel. She runs a brothel. 
I didn't know that. It's a madam. <laughs> oh wow! I thought this was a front for a brothel. This Thai restaurant was a brothel front. So you took me in there to eat, not to get the other for sex. No, oh, I thought you took me in a sex joint. Oh, you took me in a food place. Oh, God. You had me all mixed up. Uh,